Okay, good morning and uh, welcome. Let's uh, get started with today's class. Uh, let's pray first and then we will continue with our lesson. So would uh, maybe Prince or Vimal, either of you, please pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for today. And thank you for everything you gave us, Lord Jesus. Lord, I, I submit this class into your hands, Lord Jesus. Help us to learn more and help us to learn from your word. And thank you for everything, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. So, uh, so far we have learned about spiritual authority uh, and about the nature of Satan and demons. We've also... Uh, learned about the fact that Jesus has won the ultimate victory for us on the cross of Calvary. But before I go further, uh, right now we are talking about, you know, what we can use our authority over. So we, we said that Satan and all his demons, the works of Satan, such as sickness, certain situations, demonic influences, you know, we can use it over all these things. Uh, but before I continue, I just want to ask us if, uh, uh, you know, and there's something particular that has stood out for you regarding believer's authority, uh, the practice of believer's authority, then you can share. So let's do a little bit of sharing today, and then I'll continue with our lesson. So even online students, please be prepared to uh, share, because then, you know, it, it's more ed enriching for us. Okay, so um, yeah, let's take some time to share our thoughts, what we've learned. Okay, we'll let whoever wants to share. Or something new, things that you were not aware of earlier, but now, you know, it's a, um, it, it, it's, it's a learning. Okay, so please feel free. Okay, we have somebody here. Uh, uh, Jacken, after after uh, the sharing, first sharing, if you f would like, please do share. Yes, first. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, what I learned some, uh, for me, what stood out to me was, um, I think last class that you said um, about backlashes, like from the devil, um, that if we, um, if we uh, like stand against him or if we, uh, overcome him once he's not gonna come back to us or he's not gonna retaliate and um, the thing is we have to remain strong and um, still have this uh, overcoming attitude that uh, Christ has given us that authority and the other thing um, uh, that was appealing was um, This part where it says uh, higher levels, higher devils, hmm. th that was something new that I learned. And um, mm, yeah, yeah, that's good. Thanks, Rin. So these are uh, some new things that Rin has learned through these sessions. Uh, yeah, Jacken, you want to share next? And anyone else after that, please be ready. Yeah, so for me personally, I thought like- All right, uh, Jacken, we're not able to hear you. Just uh, so give me a moment. Um, I'll chat. have the audio fixed. Uh, 
Yes, yes, Jacqueline, go ahead. Sorry for that. Okay, okay. can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah, so for me, uh, something that I learned uh, very new was I thought this uh, believer's um, authority over uh, devil is given only for certain people and they have the gift and we should not pray about it and we should not put our mind and thought to it. But as the, as the lessons was, were progressing, uh, it was like it is the power of God within me. And as I discipline myself and walk in faith, so already God has given me the authority. So it's like walking in the spirit. So I automatically put the flesh of myself or whatever I'm doing in control. Then already I have the authority in me. God has given me the spiritual keys. So whatever comes, he will give me the discernment and the set, the Satan is under my feet. So by faith, I keep declaring God's word and bind every stronghold in Jesus name. It's not alone for myself. It's also for others. So that is something that I learned that God gives me that discerning through his word. And as I live in his presence, so close to him, as we walk in the spirit, this is also our uh, what something that I learned is it's also in me. It's already given in me, and um, it's just that I've not used it so many years. Like uh, there was one in in one um, uh, lesson that we learned that it's like no of no use. Like I, I I was just not using it, but that was literally what God said. Like He has given me the authority, and uh, we are above uh the devil in every way. Gra greater is He who is within me than who is in the world. So. All those words I knew, but I was not actually using it. But this uh, lesson was something that in faith, as I grow in the Lord and walk in the spirit, already the authority is given. So I praise God and thank God that to now, like whenever I see something, like I don't get scared. Usually I'll be full of, uh, even as Rin was sharing that backlash, I always used to fear. But now I say, no, Lord, I am your child. I am washed by your precious blood. You've given me the authority and Satan has no power over me. So that is something that is so powerful and I have the confidence and I'm also keep telling my family about this. Praise God. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jacqueline. Really appreciate uh, you sharing that. So uh, if there's anyone else, yeah, Prince wants to say something. And after that, I mean, I, I, um, I'm just looking at names here and I'm just like that. I'm calling out your names. Feel free. Either you can share or someone else. Viku, uh, if you want to share, please do. Nina, Nina John, if you would like, please share. Even the others. So we'll go with Prince. For me, really, like the whole uh, subject of believers' authority is really a very learning because uh, even though we are brought up in Christian uh, families and all, but uh, we really never know that what the authority that really we have yes. in Christ Jesus. And especially like from my childhood, like I was uh, as much as I'm scared, but I'm also like kind of fascinated towards mm -hmm. these things. Like seeing people casting out demons how yeah. demons will manifest and all those things but uh i really never know that we have been given this authority we have that in us yes so it's like learning all this like really it's uh really encouraged me so much like now it's like there's something inside of me so so bold to mm. face those things i really yeah. no need to fear of when i saw these things because i've been uh convicted that nothing by any means has power over me true true so it's yeah. really a very blessing praise god yeah yeah praise god really uh, encouraging to know that uh, this is what the lord is speaking uh so just a moment nikhil uh, anyone online okay uh go ahead nikhil you can share uh, before also, also I, I I have seen many peoples, so like they are casting out demons. So I thought uh, Jesus uh, gave them power like something like uh, mm. so they are special powers, special power. Okay. So 
i thought uh, really jesus gave the power so after uh, jesus uh, this uh, uh, believers authority i learned so uh, lord uh, jesus also given us authority jesus given give everyone given authority that we can also cast out demons like how bible says if uh, uh, we are son so we have that signs we can cast out demons mm. so mm. so we will have si- that signs like chin so we will have chin so we will cast out demons so mm. because we are uh, son and daughters yeah god son and daughter so that's uh, i i learned these things Mm. so i can also cast out demons amen amen yeah that's true all of us can you know we are all fighting against uh, um, authorities spiritual authorities so whatever need arises whether it's rebuking a demon casting out a demon rebuking a sickness whatever is the need we can do it okay so thank god for that uh, yeah uh, feel free we can keep this up for a couple of minutes more yeah you can share Uh, for me it's like totally different like from my childhood i used to hear like satan is only one person lesser than god ah uh, satan is only one person lesser than god one step lower than oh okay oh, i used to hear that okay. and like people used to tell like don't play with satan you know satan is have power to do anything this and that okay i was living like that only but after this class i am really so glad and i learned many things like the mm. power the authority satan is nothing now what i learned from this class is really helpful for me yes. like i should think like uh, very differently you know like because the people is said satan is only one step down means he have also every kind of power like god have but after this class i learned like yeah in front of jesus even in front of us satan is nothing mm-hmm. the power we have the authority to have we can do anything like we can right. cast we can command satan to get out from anywhere so this is really helpful to me and yeah i learned many things through this man yeah sure thank you uh, thank you chira for that uh, of course you know we understand that uh, uh, we have dominion over satan demons and their works uh, but at the same time you remember jude we said that we must uh, there there is a certain way of dealing with satan <coughs> so we cannot we cannot uh, how do i say we can't cross our limit also okay so that's one thing we can keep in mind but i understand you know where you're coming from so that's good to know um, that you know we're all gaining understanding that you know we are overcomers At the end of the day if we are a believer anybody who is a believer not just the leaders pastors apostles teachers uh, yes they have a special grace and their authority you will study about it later that when god positions people those are known as uh, uh, offices okay fivefold ministry offices there is a certain authority that god gives them okay that's a different authority but when it comes to uh, the normal authority for every believer it stems out of jesus's victory on over satan uh, which we all have every believer has that authority okay like even little children uh, if they know what jesus has done for them on the cross then they can have authority they can experience that authority they can use it so that that's how it is but main thing is to gain that understanding and live with that understanding so uh, does anybody you want to share okay vimal you can share and then i'll get into the lesson um, uh, because i'm from hindu background so uh-huh. i grew up in those things demons yeah. and all yeah. and i used in in my area we used to like do puja and all mm. there so i used to see every day those types of things and every day something is happening in our home yes. in our families so i was like so afraid about that i thought uh, i'm so afraid about demons and all but when i get to know the name of jesus and yes. after coming here and i saw uh, what we have so uh now i'm not afraid of those types of things yes and uh, i'm able to uh tell them i have jesus christ who is more power than you exactly. and uh, i know what authority i carry Amen. and what name i carry yes so 
everything god is did for me it's like it's like uh, very powerful amen yes. amen praise god thank you vimal thank you for sharing that uh, I, as you were sharing i remembered one uh, mission trip that uh, some of us went on and in that mission trip there was a young girl from our church i think it was also her first mission trip we went and after the after the sessions there was the last session on holy spirit baptism so we started praying but when we started praying people were being baptized in the holy spirit but at the same time a lot of people were manifesting uh, demon spirits so that was a new experience for us we we went and we were just laying hands on people and they were getting filled with the holy spirit but there were so many people who were manifesting demon spirits that uh, then we decided okay let's do this the people who went i think it was four ladies four of us we all stood in a row and uh, we said uh, make lines because those many demons had to be casted out you make lines and whoever wants uh, demons to be cast out you come so there were lines like this girl that young girl she one line was in front of her one more line in front of me and then these other two ladies they were doing it together so one line over there and uh, you know uh, i remember in our dental college when we used to have a lot of patients uh, particularly one department surgery right surgery is when you extract teeth and in our college we used to get a lot of patients so uh, literally it will be like uh, you know plucking a flower okay next next so <laughs> sorry to uh, you know say it like that but that's how it was for us uh, we would, one row we just give the anesthesia the second we'll just come and pluck 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 and then keep going right so it was somewhat like that uh that girl also she's casting out like okay in the name of jesus i command you a demon devil come out and that person will fall flat and the people will come take and go next next so we were doing that we were doing that like some half an hour or 45 minutes we are just casting out demons so many people you know uh, afflicted by demons it was some place um, in the north as well uh so i was just thinking you know thank god uh, it doesn't have to be one man of god or woman of god we have to go bring them like how nikhil was saying some people have the special powers but now we understand whoever it is right if you are a believer then you have the authority right uh, only thing is we have to learn how to use it so later we will study when we study about deliverance we'll study that each situation is different so for one person i can just cast out for another person you know i may have to do something more okay so the way in which we minister deliverance will differ but when we are established in the fact that hey any demon come on let's uh, let's go uh, let's do what needs to be done because every believer has authority and i'll tell you honestly the person who cast out maximum demons was that girl and it was her first time <laughs> okay uh, we were amazed we were like you're too good at this how are you even doing it she's like i don't know <laughs> i'm commanding them and they are just going and uh, sometimes we were like it's not happening you take <laughs> you take you cast out okay so it's not so much about somebody having some special uh position so we must recognize that and the more we are submitted to god remember we said that so we can flow in greater authority when we are submitted because then satan cannot say oh look at you this is wrong in your life you are allowing my demons to work in this area of your life so how much authority we can have will depend on how much submission we have right towards god so uh, i know front door is closed but close the back door also no door should be open that's the best way for us to walk in great authority right so more stories will come up later uh, yes vimal before that like uh, uh, if someone is possessing with demon na so what we used to do we that time we are so scared we we used to ask to that person what you want and mm -hmm. he used to tell like i want this sacrifice i want that mm -hmm. i want that then only i will leave this
but now when we know jesus christ we don't have to ask what you want yeah. just go out <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah okay yeah that's that's true right whatever needs to be done jesus has already done it but later we will see during deliverance sometimes uh, it seems i have not had that experience but uh, they say like demons no they will ask give me this i want to eat this i want to drink but we will tell in deliverance don't give them <laughs> they will ask many things but don't waste your time because i mean why are you doing hospitality for the demon right so our job is to get them out so we will do that okay so right we'll talk more about stories uh, of deliverance later but now we know that uh, you know we have uh, authority so i'm looking at a comment here where prabhu is saying dimensions of authority we looked at in the previous class uh, give even more confidence to exercise our spiritual authority over satan and his works yes uh, praise god for that uh, prabhu yeah so um, you know i i said in the last class that uh, authority is the same but the different sides of that authority how we have obtained it uh, you know we we have uh, we we have understood through all those terms right delegated inherited uh, so on and so forth so now uh, moving on to this chapter here which talks about where and all we can use our authority we said demonic influences demonic works so the key is you identify you and i identify so if we don't identify then what will happen we'll tolerate it we'll say ah it's okay you know oh the sickness yeah it has come from god god is doing a deep work in my life right uh, do, do sicknesses diseases help a person become better well we do see in the book of hebrews that jesus through his sufferings right he was made perfect so that simply means that when we walk with obedience uh, there is there is like it brings out good it brings out the best but that doesn't mean that sickness originates from god okay when sickness comes if we respond in the right way uh, the rest the right response is to uh, have that sickness removed but for whatever reason let's say somebody is doing all the right things by scripture and they are still sick but in that season they maintain a good attitude you know they develop um, uh, patience all that's okay all that's okay but we shouldn't say that we need sickness to develop virtues that is not what the bible says all right so when we identify first of all we have to identify what is not from god and then we have to go against it so there can be sicknesses uh, which which come upon us which are actually an oppression remember in oppression we said that most of the time it's mental but sometimes it can also manifest as a physical um uh, physical thing and we have to get rid of it so demonic influences can be over a region and we can exercise our authority uh, one example is um, uh, paul when he ministered in the city of uh, philippi and also we could see that he ministered in the city of ephesus okay so in the city of philippi when he cast out a demon a lot of people started trusting in god just by a deliverance so even today that is possible if we just go and minister deliverance uh, that demonic stronghold in that area is broken okay in ephesus we see same thing lot of deliverances and all happen that even those who are practicing black magic right in that city they bring all their equipment you know they have their uh, uh, things of worship they bring everything and they burn it so an entire region a geographical region can see uh, a renewal okay because of uh, us dealing with demonic powers so we can do that over demonic habitations so sometimes we say that uh, uh, remember 
spaces can also have demons in them. Certain spaces can be dedicated to demons. Now, what if we have to go there? Like there is no other option, right? Uh, let's say uh, we are traveling and we have to go somewhere for our work. And uh, then people tell us, oh, this place is like this. There, there is some issue here, some demonic strongholds. But we now don't have an option. We didn't go there by choice. We can, you know, we, we can have authority over whatever that demon is doing in that place. So something as simple as I do this, like when we travel, you know, we're staying in some place, <coughs> you can just sanctify the place. So I pray. I, I always say like, okay, um, uh, by faith, through the blood of Jesus, I sanctify this place where I'm staying. Okay, and no matter what demonic activity is here, I, I rebuke it in Jesus' name. It will have no influence over me. So we can say things like that. And you can just sanctify that habitation, that, that place, and you can stay there. Right? So you can have authority in all these sim simple ways. Mm, objects and artifacts, you know, sometimes there are certain objects. Uh, we saw that in Deuteronomy, God said, those objects which are used for pagan worship, you remove them. So we can have authority over those objects. We'll see later on that the best thing to do is to get rid of those objects. Uh, even when we are ministering deliverance, uh, we we might, if we notice, hey, that is an object, that is the cause of the demonic influence. We'll ask them, hey, remove it, throw it, put it away. I remember once I had visited... Uh, one brother and uh, this was a Chinese uh, family and they had become believers at that point and they had their altars they had certain altars so I've never seen anything like that uh, and the pastors of that church who were ministering to them they had just come to Christ and they were discipling them and so the day that I went uh, over there they said uh, today uh, we have a session of uh, burning those altars. So I've never seen it in my whole life. So they brought all those wooden things to their compound and uh, they kept it in the compound. And they were huge, you know, huge wooden stuff. And they lit fire to the whole thing and everything was burning in front of me. I was like, wow, I've never seen anything like this in my culture. But uh, yeah, uh, there can be some substances and things uh, that carry the presence of demons. The best is to get rid of them. And in some situations, even if required, you know, you destroy it so that another person will not use it anymore. That's the intention. Okay. So, yeah, objects, artifacts. Uh, uh, if there are, you know, curses, witchcraft, sorcery, um, sometimes. Even believers, we get scared. We say, oh, what are they doing? But as we look at scripture, you know, scriptures tell us there is no sorcery against Jacob. There is no witchcraft against Jacob. You know, in Numbers, I think Numbers 23, there is a, there is a scripture which says that. So uh, we don't have to be afraid. Because the, our understanding is, even if somebody is trying to do all these things against a believer, it won't work. It shouldn't work. Because now we are in the protection of the Lord. But if there are open doors, so what is the issue? The issue is open doors. If there are things that we are entertaining, um, things of sin, then yes, these things can influence. But otherwise, they don't really have to influence. So even people say curse, oh, somebody is cursing, uh, somebody is putting spells. As believers, please don't be worried about these things. Because... We have authority over uh, these, these situations. Even organizations and institutions, if we notice uh, uh, influences from them, we can actually uh, overcome. OK, what else do we have uh, uh, authority over? Here it says, doctrines of demons. So doctrines of demons is uh, teachings which are against what the Bible says, like even about Jesus, there are teachings in which it is said that, you know, Jesus is not fully man. So uh, his sacrifice, it was already, so he was already divine. So what's the big deal? You know, if he died and he rose, 
it was easy for him because he was a divine being so what actually this this teaching is saying is that uh, it's a false teaching because it doesn't agree with what the bible says the bible says he became uh, you know the word became flesh dwelt among us we beheld his glory okay so it's it sounds good that jesus yeah jesus is the son of man but he was not fully man so you see i'm just giving you one example of a false teaching so there can be many such truths so called truths which are put across which are not in line with scripture which uh, you know make jesus lesser than who he is and don't glorify god so when such things happen you know we can uh, even overcome you know such uh, um, such false things and many people are captive to wrong teachings to cults okay we usually say cult when when they are uh, um, when they are subscribing to wrong doctrine false doctrine we can even help in setting those people free because <clears throat> many of these wrong doctrines are demonic it comes from the demonic world to keep people deceived okay uh, but we can set them free there can also be messengers of satan messengers of satan meaning uh, so called leaders of these false teachings and doctrines uh, I, i remember i shared about uh, the man in paphos he was a sorcerer and because of him others were not receiving the gospel but once paul dealt with him it became easy so we can overcome uh, we can have authority over sickness disease death we've talked a lot about that we can have authority over circumstances and situations we've talked about it <coughs> so just this uh, um a week on sunday one of the students in our uh, congregation he came and he was sharing about how he's working for some agency and um, he has not been able to receive uh, the remuneration okay it's a freelance work but they've delayed it so much so then we both just decided to pray together okay and i told him also you extend your faith i'll agree with you let's pray and let's let's go against this delay in the name of jesus now we don't know whether that delay is a natural delay or demonic delay i'm not commenting about that but this is the circumstance he's waiting and waiting and he's struggling because there are bills to pay so many other issues i said just believe uh, we'll ask god we'll go against this delay we'll ask for a miracle and then we commanded we said okay money in the name of jesus we command you to come into that bank account because he has done the work okay i'm not telling you do this you have to do some work and then you know god uh, blesses he had done the work and he was waiting and waiting so he said okay pastor we'll see because i already waited so much okay but the most amazing thing happened he messaged me tuesday night we prayed sunday sunday afternoon around he's like the money is came into my bank account <laughs> you know so i was like wow the situation changed uh, and on that day when we were praying i thought how somewhere in my natural heart, heart i thought how is it possible i was like no 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 don't go by the natural it looks impossible in the natural but in the supernatural it is possible and he has done the work so why should he not get what he has worked for so this circumstance has to change we command it to change and i was so amazed when he messaged and said pastor you won't believe it the money just came into my bank account so circumstances situations use the authority right and uh, yeah we we see god moving then over natural elements in fact jesus said you shall do greater works what is greater works what is greater works will be greater than jesus okay maybe more okay so we'll we'll do greater works than jesus but we can't be greater than jesus okay we'll make that very clear <laughs> so what are the greater works sorry 
yeah healing and deliverance hmm? signs wonders okay dead to life jesus did everything no he also did <laughs> so more in number that's true because the ministry of jesus was about 3 3 and a half years okay but how much the church can do because it's all of us all our lifetimes put together and all the works that will happen so basically what god was saying is many more works when we say greater works so in and through every believer many works will be done many deliverances many healings many miracles that is something we can expect and when we say greater works it is also things that are unusual okay that could not happen in the time of jesus for example in jesus times uh, we don't see things like uh, metal implant surgery all that nobody was doing isn't it but today it happens and we have heard testimonies of people who said that the metal became bone okay that is different because in jesus time there was no option of such things and therefore it didn't happen but today some of these things are there or let's say there is no organ somebody does not have a kidney or something like that but when we pray supernatural it comes right uh, so these things are what we are saying greater works so greater works yes but it doesn't mean we will become greater than jesus he's always the exalted one uh, and so we can expect now even when it comes to you know natural elements we see the lord jesus taking charge you remember the storm there was a storm it's a natural thing but when jesus commanded the storm he said peace be still it was calm even natural elements which are influenced by the demonic can respond it can respond hmm um when was what was this yeah uh, there's a there's a movie uh, it's a christian movie called as uh, faith like potatoes okay so it's a story of a preacher who also was into farming so uh, at that time when you know uh, like the incidents in the movie that he records there was a time when there was a fire in his farm it was spreading it was spreading and spreading and spreading and uh, they were not able to control the fire uh, you know uh, so at that time you know he prayed for rain and there was no way in that season that it's going to rain but then you see how the situation changed it was almost surprising that it started raining so in the natural even weather uh and uh, natural things circumstances sometimes you know we can see that uh, there is a difference when we use our authority now talking about jesus you know there were other situations where uh jesus walked on the water remember anybody tried walking on the water here <laughs> just checking okay thank god otherwise i'll be very spooky right so but jesus walked on the water that's unusual right it's supernatural uh with the authority that god has given us these things can happen you even see in the life of jesus that sometimes natural laws are bypassed okay or multiplying food isn't it um so through the authority that god has given us even natural elements natural circumstances weather conditions you know we can exercise our authority but here is the uh, cautioning part you know we should not depend on it in the sense that now just because food multiplies we didn't see the next day you know the disciples say hey this looks like a nice business you know just pray break the bread make more bread okay you have a bakery peter you have john you have one bakery let's all make money because food is multiplying we don't even have to bake the bread or you know cook the fish food is multiplying 
that's not how jesus led them he said hey today there was a situation abnormal situation when you all needed food so food is multiplying every day food is not going to multiply we have to cook it we have to grow it right we have to make it so normal is the standard sometimes there is the unusual same thing uh, it's getting late for bible college let me walk on water it's not going to happen right it, there was an unusual situation in which jesus walked on the water but normal we have to do time planning all that leave early wake up early and then show up in college so there's always a normal sometimes when there is a need the natural laws can be uh, sort of you know overcome and something new might happen so but we can expect we can expect such things to take place even commanding the weather sometimes yes we can expect such things to take place so um yeah uh, anything that you want to add or ask in chat oh yeah nina uh, yes nina please go ahead no i've already posted something so posted something okay yeah. i'll uh, read that through so nina has written here it was good to know that as believers we need to be alert and watchful in not giving access to the enemy okay in any way also that the believer cannot be possessed but can be oppressed we need to be on guard and use the weapons god has given us and not give the enemy a foothold yeah so thank you nina thank you for uh, sharing what um, has uh, you know uh, touched you and you've learned through this course and i pray that um, whatever we are learning here will be applicable in our uh, everyday lives yes rin um pass have two questions yeah, relating sure. to um to objects huh. uh, being possessed uh, or having the demon spirit in them I mean, how can um, I mean, how can we first of all, how can we identify that an object has a demon spirit? And the other okay, thing is, good how question. can the demon spirit come on that object? Okay, so uh, usually, what happens is um, objects of worship, anything that's meant for worship, uh, tends to tends to have you know some sort of a spiritual. Um, is spiritual influence or you know demons right uh, uh living in them so when we look at an object and we we sense that hey this is an object of worship or something like that then best is to stay away from it so as believers we are always cautious but i think the issue is when maybe we are traveling and you know there are these souvenirs we find some cute things in the market and they are being sold uh, we are not very alert anymore right so we may just pick it up and say okay it's part of my travel i'll take it home now those are the moments when we really have to exercise our discernment okay and uh, not take these things home or sometimes somebody brings in something or something is gifted to us and my the way i look at it is if i am in doubt then i get rid of it so that my conscience doesn't uh, you know keep telling me all the time oh it could be this it could be so if you are feeling uncomfortable about any object get rid of it that's what i would say is it helpful yeah can okay. we cast it out <laughs> the, which one the spirit what what can we cast it out from that object throw the object no <laughs> easier <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> handkerchief that can also generally normal objects i would say no like you know gadgets and stuff like that uh, but sometimes when they are dedicated again when they are dedicated yes you know they may have uh, but if it's a common object which you're using in your organization and all 
just sanctify it in the name of Jesus and go ahead. Like if it's a mic which is dedicated, you still have to use the mic, right? So you just say, okay, in the name of Jesus, I just sanctify these instruments. Lord, let it be used for your glory and go ahead with it. Yeah. Yes, Anand? Huh. Okay, uh, so Anand is asking, what about kerchiefs that people use? So it happened in Acts 19. No, it's there. Same thing happened. So they were taking cloth, uh, which Paul used, and with the cloth they were delivering and casting out demons. Why is it different? They're selling kerchiefs. Okay, yeah. So, uh, what happens, Anand, is uh, see the presence of God, okay? Uh, or we can use the term the anointing of God. It can be carried in things. We see there is a biblical, uh, um, you know, what do you say? Like a basis to that. It's biblical. Because in the case of Paul, it happened that the anointing was carried in cloth. Okay, and that cloth, when it was used for delivering people, they were delivered. So, on the basis of that, even today, if we take any object, some people, what they do, they pray over water, isn't it? They'll just pray and they say, okay, you drink this water. People are healed. Demons are cast out. Because by faith, we are releasing the anointing into that thing. Okay, and it happens. One second, one second. I'll just finish, then you can uh, ask. Normal? Oil, oil, yeah, oil, yeah. Yes, yes, oil also can be used. So the point I'm making is, it's a biblical thing, okay? So if people today are doing that and people are getting delivered, that's okay. In the name of Jesus, somebody is receiving deliverance. That is good. But here is the bad thing, to make a merchandise out of that. So sometimes what people start doing uh, in a Christian circle, they start selling the oil, selling the kerchief, selling the thing. I don't see that in the Bible. So that doesn't make sense to me. So does it answer your question? <laughs> That's what I was going to say that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, OK. I also have a question related to that. Yeah. So uh, like how um, the passing of the handkerchiefs and people were healed, so in the same way, um, if a handkerchief, okay, let's say if it has a demon spirit in it, can a person get demon possessed or something like that? Yes. Yes. Answer is yes. Which is why, as believers, we must be careful. Okay? And of us believers being careful is one thing, but even unbelievers, right? They don't know. And so, even simple things uh, sometimes can influence yeah and people do things like that any question <laughs> okay all right uh, so we've run out of time we'll end this class we will pray and close off so could uh, somebody from the online batch pray please Father God, thank you, Lord. Thank you for this time, Lord, that you helped us to learn from your word, Lord, the authority that you have given us, Lord, in the name of Jesus and because of the cross, Lord, that you took for us, Lord Jesus. Father, thank you for giving us this knowledge, Lord, because your word says, Lord, without this knowledge, we are perishing, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord, for this time that we each of us are able to learn this truth about you, Father God. And you are greater than the one that is in the world. And you've given us faith every day to exercise this authority in whatever that we do, Lord, and whatever we come across. Nothing is a surprise to you, Father. But when we learn to use your word, Lord, and to learn to live in faith, Lord, and in the spirit, Lord, and we do not over and we overcome every act of the flesh that it is your power being released upon us father god that we are able to live in that full authority that you've given us on earth father god father help each of us lord to live in this authority to declare your word and lord jesus 
Prime Minister, with your power, Lord, and so that we will be faithful ministers of you, Lord, wherever that we are. In Jesus' mighty, matchless name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Jackin. Uh, God bless you all. Have a wonderful weekend. And next week, uh, I will be posting the assignment for the online students. And I think the others also have their assignments. So please be prepared for that. Your first assignment is coming up. Okay. So, all right. Uh, uh, thank you. God bless.